essayé d'amener la musique euh, un peu partout. Ben, la musique qui me tenait à cœur, un peu partout, et notamment dans la rue, euh, euh, dans des espaces publics, euh, dans le tram. Euh. J'ai formé à les filles en 1996. J'ai parcouru euh, Bordeaux et la région euh, en tant que programmateur ou directeur artistique euh, ou DJ. On a fait plein de tentatives avant euh, d'arriver euh, à faire un relâche qui s'est euh, épaissi. Bon, on peut dire que cette année, on a fait jouer 90 groupes, la, la majorité étant des groupes américains ou de Bordeaux. We've been working together for about 26 years and we're almost just about starting to get used to each other now, you know. The first seven working years of my life I spent working on the railway. I was uh, doing maintenance on signals, so I, I sort of discovered the music kind of late in life, when I was about 20. I just heard a load of old records that a friend of mine brought back from Chicago when he was uh, in his 70s. He, was, uh, he did lots of trips over there. He met people like Howlin' Wolf and uh, uh, Walter Horton. And uh, he came back with a big armful of records. A very nice crowd, they were really into it. It was nice, nice experience. On est les Dizzy Brands ou The Dizzy Brands pour les intimes. Et à ma droite, il y a mon frère Maïf et il joue de la basse. Il y a la batterie, Amir. À la guitare, il y a Poon. Et moi, je suis Eddie, je suis au chant. Et on fait du rock, on vient de Madagascar, un pays où il n'y a pas trop de rock, mais il y en a, mais pas trop. C'est notre vie, nous qu'on raconte en fait. Mais engagé dans plusieurs, euh, dans plusieurs thèmes en fait, euh, que ce soit sur l'amour, euh, sur euh, la politique, euh, la corruption qui se passe, la pauvreté, tout ça, tout ce qui pourrait nous tiquer quoi, dans la vie. My name is Marty Mo Rogers and I do blues. I come from America and I've been doing this most of my life. I've been doing Marty Moe Rogers about 17, 18 years and I travel the world playing what I call new blues, existential blues, blues about the truth. And you know, blues is truth and the truth will set you free. To me, blues is the universal language. The reason why, because blues speaks to your heart. You don't hear blues, you feel blues in your heart. It's the only folk music that's gone around the world, think about it. Every country has folk music, but blues has gone around the world. I'm really happy to be here at Bordeaux. This is an incredible festival. It's a feel, I love the old school, this church. See, in America, if something gets 50 years old, they tear it down. Europe, of course, especially France, has some incredible history. And Bordeaux, of course, famous for the wine. So I will have some wine when I'm here. I even wrote a song called Bordeaux Blues. You know, wine here is good for you. That's why you love it, and it gives you Bordeaux Blues. So I'm honored to be here, and this is a wonderful festival, and thank you for having me. We started 
because we were fucking bored. Like, we lived in Nashville, and I've been playing guitar my whole life, and I was 26 years old, and there was nobody doing what I wanted to do. And I was, I was like, fuck it, I have to do this. and roll man we're a rock and roll band like you know like people think motorhead is metal no they're a fucking rock and roll band it's actually from a ted nugent guitar player he used to actually he used to be a guitar player now he's kind of an asshole but he used to play guitar and he used to be great like back when he shut up and he just fucking rocked. He was amazing. And he had one album that was, he had a song about pussy. And he says, this here is a little love song that goes out to all that Nashville pussy. And I heard that song when I was maybe 10 years old. And Blaine heard it when he was, whatever, 15. And it was one of those things that just stuck in your head. Like, you know, and you, your mother would get mad and his sister would get scared. And like, it was just a great name, you know? And when we called ourselves Nashville Pussy, it was 95. 1995 so it was things were kind of relaxed and we were like this close to having pussy like set on television all the time in America and then within about five years I don't know what happened but America got really uptight and now it's like now the list of what you can't say on television went from 10 words to like 25 words like it was getting better for a little while and we we're like yes you know and then it was like uh oh oh shit like now they won't put our name on a poster you know like because somebody somewhere is going to complain and uh, whatever. Quand il fait partie d'une petite asso underground, tu es entraîné à nager à contre-courant. Donc on est un peu musclé.